You all have to learn how to deal with Kanoas. Rabbi Amram Blau was the famous Natura Karta Yid of Yerushalayim. And he was often thrown into jail. And once he was thrown into jail, Rabbi Aryeh Levine, who had the opposite reputation, and here it is in Yerushalayim, he came to the jail to get help Rabbi Amram Blau. They threw him into jail with the, with the worst people. And he came in and had them give him his own jail cell. And they convinced them to give him tefillin. And they brought Rabbi Amram Blau out to, to see Rabbi Aryeh Levine, who had come and spent all his energy to help him. Rabbi Amram Blau would not look at the face of Rabbi Aryeh Levine. He held that anybody who deals with the government of Israel is a Russian, and you're not allowed to look in his face. So he wouldn't look at his face. So the jailer was disgusted. He says, here you come, you spend all your time and energy and all your influence to get him out of jail, to get him to house and fill. He won't even look at you. So Rabbi Aryeh Levine said just the opposite. You have to admire him. He has principles, and he won't be bribed. No matter what, he sticks to his principles. What's the lesson to learn from this story? People are kanoim towards kanoim. Now, no one has ever accused me of being a kanoi. But when someone is a kanoi, why does everyone jump on them? There are lessons to be learned. There are lessons to be learned from kanoim. There are limude espos. I know one Talmud Chacham. Kanoim once spoke about him. He got involved in a controversy and people were speaking. He's not a Kanoi at all. So he asked, what are they saying about me? So one of his Talmudim told him, what's the difference what they're saying? They're saying it with Sino, that's not Kanoi. He said, I know, I know why they're saying it and all. But tell me what they're criticizing me. If they're criticizing me already, so probably they'll pinpoint the faults I have. So I might as well learn from the faults that they're going to point out. That's an attitude towards that. So one lesson is that we're all kanoi. You have to be a kanoi for what's important. And you have to be careful that whenever you're a kanoi, what's the name of Rabbi Chaim Shulevitz's piece on kanois? Oyei v'sabriyai so makarvan l'tayra. Every discipline, every kanoi has to come. Let me tell you,